And good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray. Welcome to Scotty Ray's Weather. It is Thursday, December the 3rd, and the clock is ticking as we head toward Christmas, that marking 22 days until the big man comes. And uh, don't forget the reason for the season, of course, Jesus. It, uh, I hope you'll do that and get to attend a big church service this year, despite everything going on that's uh, going on in the nation right now. Well, I hope your day is going well. We're starting today out not too bad. Already 45. Now, some of those days we didn't even reach that all day long, but uh, that's where we begin this Thursday. And, well, let's turn to the weather and just see uh, exactly what's going on this morning. Your forecast is brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Let's jump in on what uh, the National Weather Service uh, tells us uh, with uh, predictions of today. And we look at this storm predictions. Mississippi is all up in it today. If you'll look at this right here, uh, parts of most of Louisiana, all of Mississippi and portions of the uh, western side of Alabama uh, is in this. Arkansas has got some rain in Missouri, but uh, the focus is on right here today. And I'll give you details here in just a moment of when this should happen. So, but uh, carry an umbrella right out the gate today because it. Uh, Definitely going to be a, a rain day for us here in uh, Mississippi, so don't uh, don't leave home without it. Is uh, it's actually a 60 percent chance of rain. I wrote that down wrong. 60. Uh, the worst of it will be up here around Jazoo and Vicksburg, and then if you'll notice here, the line meridian westward back toward Jackson will get a little bit uh, more rain than the eastern side of the county out near southeast. That's what the prediction is so far. We'll get into. Uh, well, actually, let me tell you what the National Weather Service says. We got a slight chance of rain between now and noon. Then we'll get that 60% chance of showers between noon and 3, and then possibly a thunderstorm after 3 o'clock. High today, 56, and then that increases to an 80% chance of rain tonight. So uh, it's going to be a wet one. So that, there you go on that. So kind of be prepared for that as we go right along. Uh, as we look at the temperatures, we're going to stable off here. This is where we're starting to see the 45 and 50 and some 60 degree weather. Uh, in our extended forecast there. So things will uh, normalize here before too long. Not, not bad at all, but uh, we'll warm up and before we get cool again. All right, as uh, we move on that record highs for today. It was 1982 that we set a record high of 82. Kind of warm that day, wasn't it? Now the record low, I was nowhere around. 1960, we hit a low of 21 degrees. Woo, boy, that was uh, chilly, wasn't it? Uh, I'm sure there's a few folks that still remember that, but... Uh, I was not a part of that at that time. Can you believe that? Hmm. <laughs> time has a way of flying. Anyway, I, I do hope everything's going well. We'll look at radar here in just a moment to, to give you more details of, of what exactly uh, is going on this morning and uh, the outlook for the next few days and how to, how to deal with it, know how to prepare for it, whether you need more gas, you need more wood, all those great things. Let's take a moment to talk about our friends at the Farm Supply. Now, if you haven't visited with Ron and his staff in a while, drop in. They are truly a co-op to get what you need. If you see something that you use all the time, talk to them. They'll get it in stock for you there. Now, they are all set for the Christmas season. They've got trees, and they've got this, that, and the other. And, of course, get you an apron there to wear for Christmas to be in the mood. It's the gift shop. They've got so much to give to those who help you year-round from plants to mirrors, all of that great-looking stuff there. And knickknacks to go around the fireplace, garland if you need any of that. They can fix you up. And, of course, Christmas trees galore. That's one of the ones that they've got on display that looks really, really nice at the Farm Supply. Poinsettias, any type, any type that you might need. And uh, they do all that. Knickknacks there at the gift shop. As we head into making sure that you're all disinfected, yep, they got all of that for you. If you're running low and don't have any and need some wipes and things to make sure that uh, you're clean around the office place or even at home, do that. It never hurts to be a little on the uh, extra precautionary side. Drake Apparel, 30% off. They got still that. They got the Mobux uh, T-shirts and hats. And, of course, the Lauderdale County Farm Supply T-shirt. It's got all the little towns on it. Yeah. And we've got the work boots, the Georgia boot, one of the best that's out there, most comfortable areas as well. And if you need uh, mud boots, they've got them as well to make sure that your feet don't get wet, along with anything when it comes to deer hunting. Look at the supplies and things that they've got here at the, at the Farm Supply. Any block that you may need, including the heaters as things turn back cold, I had mine with me the last couple of days that I went hunting. Nicest thing that's ever been invented. And if you need a deer camera, they've got those along with the automatic ones that send it to your phone or the ones that you can operate off your phone. Handy, handy. Of course, all of the fertilizers you may be needing, ammonia nitrate to regular triple 13 to take care of things and taking care of your horse and cattle, including gun scopes and a whole lot more, including, well, right now a little bit of ammunition. See them today. 
the Lauderdale County Farm Supply. You'll be glad that you went by and visited with them today. They'll help you. Sanders Gas, Sanders Air and Heat is your full service propane supplier since 1946. We take pride in ensuring reliable, friendly service to our customers. We also provide safety tune-ups related to propane, air conditioning, and heating systems, keeping our community efficient and safe. I'm Chuck Sanders, and yes, we're local. Well, good morning. Let's go to radar now to take a look at what's going on uh, with the rain and everything. This is the rain that's out here. More rain up by Memphis and Little Rock, Arkansas this morning that's going to go through Jonesboro, Arkansas, uh, on up near Nashville later on. We've got showers as we zoom in down around Lake Charles that will make their way near us later on. And again, we're just under a, uh, this is the storm watch here, this light green around us there. As you back out and take a look, as I said, a little bit heavier rain there. Some off in the Gulf there that's going to twist on up uh, uh, toward the Pensacola area, and we will get rain later on today. As we back out and look at this, now, Oklahoma City, if you were there, this is like cold, cold stuff going on. You've got Tulsa, Wichita. You ever been there? I went there once, and uh, they're getting a lot of snow this morning as it comes across. going to be headed toward Topeka uh, and Kansas City in those areas. If you've got to be in that area, if you're catching a plane for any reason or have friends and family. And of course, down here in uh, Jacksonville, they've got uh, a lot going on as you Look at here, they've got themselves a frost advisory uh, over in uh, Florida there and in, in Georgia there. Takes up, goes into Jacksonville. So uh, that's what the weather is happening today. And let's recap again what I, what I said about today. Now, we've got a slight chance of rain between now and the lunchtime. It will increase to a 60% chance of rain after lunch between there and 3, and then a thunderstorm after 3 o'clock. High 56 tonight, it's increased to 80% chance. So we're getting this, 46, down to a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, slight chance after lunch. It's going to be gusty tomorrow to end the week with a high of 57. Now, it will start getting uh, chilly as we get into Friday night, 36 for a low. We'll get sunshine in 58 on Sunday, 35 for a low Saturday night. And Sunday, we'll be back up to a warm 58 for the high. So we're here we go, if here, there, and yonder with the temperatures uh, moving right along. Now, let's uh, pull up our seven-day uh, forecast and show you what's expected over the next little bit as we look at this. We've got those temperatures of 57 steady across there. Next Wednesday, we'll start getting into the 60s. But we'll have some chilly nights uh, all in the 30s all this week as we get there. And we look to Wednesday there. Now, let's do this. Uh, let me find where I set this at this morning as I wanted to show you this of what to expect. Uh, no, that wasn't it. Uh, let's see here. Sometimes your, uh, your machine just doesn't do what you want it to do. All right, here we go. This is what I wanted to show. As you go past that, we'll get a little bit of the 60s and nighttime lows still pretty much uh, in the 30s after next week, We'll after when we get into next week. Over the weekend, we've got uh, over the next two weeks there in 45, 46 there on the 12th, midweek through the month. Did that make sense? Through the mid-month. That's what I was trying to say. But uh, we've got great weather, nothing this horrible anywhere from 55 and then down to 30s at nighttime for the next two weeks is what we've really got as I try to explain myself there. I think I stumbled around a little bit, so I apologize about that. But that's where we are and what to expect over the next little bit. Uh, weather is great at this point. We don't have any snow or anything like that predicted for us. Although a lot of folks would love to have uh, a little bit of snow between now and Christmas. Yeah, we hardly ever get that. Um, what was it two years three years ago i guess it was the last one i remember we got a dusting or so there it was it was pretty so maybe one day we'll get that but not in the forecast at this point uh again today uh, expect it to be uh, you know rainy and weather we do have it in our forecast so that 60 percent chance of rain at some point some kind of way well let's turn our attention toward uh the good folks out at uh the piggly wiggly of collinsville as you get ready to start baking and making everything for Christmas, they're there to help you in any way they can. Joe and his staff there, they keep the stores one of the cleanest you'll find around and the best meat departments, bar none. Of course, when you get into bell peppers, 89 cents each this week as the specials roll on. Uh, you've got the uh, five-pound bag of grapefruit for four ninety nine. dollars also, those Idaho potatoes, the eight-pound bag for three ninety-nine. You can take advantage of the celery stalks, a dollar twenty-nine. Also, the barbecue piggly wiggly, ninety-nine cents for that bottle there for an eighteen-ounce bottle. Mayonnaise, wow, dollar sixty-nine. They can help you out with that there. Also, 
the saltine crackers, the one pound box, 89 cents. Wesson oil, if you're gonna be doing a lot of cooking and need a gallon, 6.99, especially if you're gonna be doing a turkey or something like that, 6.99 for that gallon. As you move on to the, everybody's gotta have paper towels. Who wouldn't need that? 89 cents a roll. Bar S bologna, two for $3. And you could also get the Jumbo Franks by Bar S, four for $5 if you're gonna be fixing up for the kids. Beef shoulder roast, three fifty nine dollars a pound. And of course, the shoulder steaks, three seventy nine dollars a pound and ice cream. Who wouldn't want some Mayfield? Two for five dollars for that 48 ounce uh, package. And you've got all of your Coca-Cola products. Two for nine dollars for those 12 packs, 12 ounce cans. Where do you find it? The Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville is a place to go see our friends. Joe will take care of you. During these challenging times, there are some things that you can count on every day. One of them is that Rick Justice Automotive will work hard to help you find just the right vehicle. Rick Justice has late model, low mileage vehicles and 72 months, 72,000 mile warranties available on all vehicles. Come see us today and we'll show you how we've been helping your friends and relatives find the car, truck or SUV that was right for them. We will earn your business. Grab a jacket and an umbrella before you leave the house this morning uh, so you'll be prepared for what uh, Mother Nature has to throw at you. That's all on the way. Of course, Candace will be joining me again uh, this morning after 8 o'clock. We'll tell you about the Christmas parade that is coming up in Meridian and a lot of other events that are right around the, uh, uh, the neighborhood. So that's on the way with Scotty Ray's Weather. Make sure to join us for that here at Scotty Ray's Weather. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by 